Hello and welcome to this quick episode of Death by Bungie. Cooking with Bungie, as a matter of fact. I'm going to do a quick video about making some Philly cheesesteaks. Now, I've done this kind of video before. I've done this recipe before. I've made this kind of food before. Philly cheesesteaks style hoagies or whatever else. But I'm going to do a little different this time because this time I'm using canned venison. This is the remainder of a jar of canned venison. Normally it'd be full and have the lid on there. We pop the lid off. We used half of it in a different recipe. I had a recipe we made a week ago or so with canned venison. It required one and a half pounds of canned venison. So had a half pound left over or so. I'm gonna make a hoagie or two tonight with this. These are handy little lids. If you can buy these, they're just plastic little lids. You can buy them, keep them on those jars. That way you don't have to worry about keeping those jars in the refrigerator. You got a nice little lid for them. So they're awesome. And we're gonna use, of course, torpedo rolls from a local deli, the local re uh, supermarket. These things are awesome for this, and they don't last an awful long, they don't stay fresh for long, so you gotta use them up. So, all the more reason to make some Philly cheesesteaks. This is real easy to do. I've already taken some canola oil, put it in a pan, I've gone through and heated up these onions, browned the onions up nicely, and this is already cooked because it is canned venison. It's already cooked. It just needs to be heated up and sort of simmered in with your nice little recipe, get all the flavors in there, and make sure that it's gonna taste the way you want it to taste. So I'm gonna bring it up to temperature, throw this, I'm just gonna pour the remainder of the contents of this jar into this pan, work them together on the heat there, and we'll be ready to add some cheese, put them on a roll, we'll have dinner. All right, basically, because there's a lot of moisture in that can, right? There's all the juices that you have from the canned venison. You got to cook that stuff off. Now, you'll notice some of this venison is nice and red it's still tender and pink but it's still thoroughly cooked because the cooking the canning process does that for you but it does make it uh, much more tender this way because it's cooked low and slow for a longer period of time in a pressure canner properly canned venison cooks at around 240 degrees Fahrenheit which is perfect for cooking this stuff kills off all the bacteria kills off trichinosis kills off all that awful stuff all the parasites everything else leaves you with just perfect tender venison but in our case, you can see that it is the juices and stuff, and a little bit of that oil, I got a little bit too much oil in there probably, uh, but we gotta cook that off. Once that's cooked off, this stuff will remain tender, it'll remain cooked, it'll just be cooked up to heat though, simmered in there with those onions, and it will sort of adopt the flavor of those onions. And then once we've got it down to where all the oils are cooked off, then I can put the cheese on here. And what I've done, for the cheese, I'll just show you right here. Um, let me get her to focus on one there. Probably want it to focus on that cheese, don't you? Right there, look at that. That is American cheese, yellow, orange, American cheese, whichever you want to call it. But it will melt nicely. And it's not staying in focus, what's up with that? Where's Genevieve when you need her? But anyway, that will really, really do well. Nah, forget that, not gonna focus. We'll just get it focused back on that stuff. But anyway, this stuff is going to do really well on the finished product. It's gonna melt in there very nicely, gonna create a great Philly cheesesteak. You will not be able to ask for a better Philly cheesesteak. Made with venison, look out. This is actually venison courtesy of not the 2019 deer, no. This is a 2018 deer that we have here. Uh, probably one of the deer that I killed in Maryland. I don't know how many I killed here in Pennsylvania last year, the year before I had her. But I had one deer left over in canning jars from the previous year. And that is what I have used for the most recent canning stuff. I'm using up the old stock. This stuff stays in your, uh, will stay in a jar. Um, and this is another look at those lids, by the way, if you're curious, just a plastic lid. But they will stay on your shelf, this canned venison will, very easily, very nicely, for over a year. You don't have to worry about that. And what you can do um, is, what I try to do is eat it all up before the following year, before we go into hunt for the next year. And that way, let me get one more focus on, make sure it's focusing on the meat. Um, we can 
that way, if you do that, you're replenishing your supplies every year. It gives you a little extra motivation to go out there and do a good job hunting in the fall. But you don't have to necessarily rely on that. What we can do is put that stuff on the shelf and keep it that way, right? Keep it on the shelf for as long as we want. For a couple of years, three years at the most, I think. Um, does last an awful long time. Longer than a freezer. Now, this is just about cooked down. You can see here that I got enough for two helpings. And I'm only going to make one sandwich. So what I'm going to do, that portion I'm going to make tomorrow night. That will be tomorrow night's cheesesteak. But, and I'll just heat it up again, again in a pan tomorrow. Put all that in the Tupperware container tonight. And put it right in the fridge. And then this guy right here, we're going to melt some cheese on him. See? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my cheese here and just drop it on me. And just drop that on me. That. When that melts up, we'll be ready to transfer that from there to this little plate. And when we put it on this plate right here, then we'll be ready for our cheesesteak. So once that melts, it's done. That's the end of cooking. All right, that cheese is about melted. Let's put that off of there. We're gonna get this ready where we need it, right? Get that plate ready, got the heat off. And I'm just gonna take this, put it right here. Hopefully you can see this all right, get it in there. And then I'm just gonna scoop this out of here. Scoop it right off of there, right on to, oop, not you, you're tomorrow night. You're not in there tonight, what are you doing? This is trying to escape, can't have that. Gonna move that right in here like that. Put that there, put this back on the stove. Again, that's tomorrow night, can't beat it. And this, this right here is my melted cheese goodness. Let's see if I can get something in focus on here. Oh man, doesn't that look good? I think that looks pretty good. That's venison cheesesteak. Canned venison cheesesteak. You can see the steam coming off of it. Doesn't look so good. It looks fantastic. <laughs> whoop, whoop. How's that? All right. Nope. A little bit. Let's get it up just a little bit. Is that going to work? Man. Let's hurry up with this video because I want to eat this. All right. Well, here we go. This Philly cheesesteak. Death by Bungie style. Doesn't that look good? I think it looks fantastic. And if you fold it up like this, it'll take shape nicely. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see what that looks like? That, doesn't that look like a perfect, perfect cheesesteak? Okay. And we'll give it a old taste test here. Make sure it's going to be good. Oh, man. Um, this is phenomenal. Just an FYI. With venison, the low fat food, don't be afraid to add those fatty cheeses to it. This wouldn't hurt if I put butter in that pan instead of canola oil. Or maybe next time use some mayonnaise, line the, put some mayonnaise on that roll before I put it all together. Mm. But it's all good. But seriously, the cheese makes it. Gives you just the right amount of fat to make that protein nice and tasty. Can't beat it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you'll try some canning. I hope you'll try some venison cheesesteak sandwiches. For canning tips, I did a video on that last year. Go check that out here on the Death by Bungie channel. Go check out the deathbybungie.com mailing list because I did a blog on there on the Death by Bungie website and I did a mailing an email newsletter with some canning tips not too long ago. So go check those out. If you're into this sort of thing, this will be right up your alley. You'll want to sign up for that newsletter if you haven't already. It's free and you can cancel at any time. I'm going to go watch a movie, eat the rest of this, and until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie.